All right, hello everyone. My name is Derek P. Fields. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another video. First of all, I want to give a huge shout out to all my subscribers and non-subscribers and my new subscribers that subscribe between this time yesterday and today. I think I've gone up nine or ten for my channel. That is uh, extraordinary. So shout out to everybody. Thank you so much for the video participation. My video from yesterday is the best I've ever done at 854 views, 74 comments. I'm sorry, 71 comments, 43 thumbs up and one hater thumbs down. So I appreciate you guys. You guys are amazing. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that's 25 minutes of me talking and yet it managed to get that much love. So I appreciate everyone out there. Uh, I just wanted to get that out there first. So anyway, um, this video real quick, I'm gonna make a real quick video about, um, a, a, a lot of people been making videos about Stafford and how hard Detroiters have been coming on Stafford. Uh, and I, I went on them yesterday. I did. Um, but like everybody's been pointing out to me, as I'm sure you guys know, 10 years of mediocrity, that is not acceptable for the Detroit Lions organization. And that's what Matthew Stafford is. Uh, but even so with that, what you see on the screen right now, and I cannot get this, that's my file number. What you see on the screen right now, and the whole purpose of this video is to is to show you how long, as if you didn't know already, that the Lions have been this way. And I hope that my audio, my face matches the audio. I've been trying to tweak that, but uh, to no success. So I hope that this is this is working. But this, what I'm about to show you guys, is a, is a Facebook post from four years ago. Now that's the 2014-15 season. And uh, I'm going to have to mute the microphone because there's a bit of an echo if I don't. So I'll definitely come in with some thoughts um, later after we watch it together. But I just wanted to show you uh, why I stopped drinking the Kool-Aid, at least for this season. I mean, I, I'm done. And, um, and why, even though Matthew Stafford is not solely to blame, um, everybody has seen the play yesterday. Uh, when he threw the first pick or the pick six and it was telegraphed the whole way. And you could say that JBC called that play that Matthew was throwing to, you know, the hot read or whatever it was. In my opinion, he had time to throw the football to someone else. He looked straight at him. And if you see, excuse me, the player comes right off the ball straight to Michael Roberts, picks the, the interception and goes straight to the house. So this video is from Facebook four years ago. When the Lions were doing well, but let's take a look at it. I got to mute the microphone. Y'all, it's your boy D Fields with the weekly Lions rant. You know what, man? I'm, I'm not even mad about today. Uh, shout out to my boy. It's your boy. Um, I hope you know what the score is before this. Anyway, I'm not even mad, man. I can't even be mad at today's game because today was kind of an expected loss. Um, we already knew it was probably going to happen. Everybody, you know, I kind of had them losing too. I thought it would be like really just something about the Patriots and Bill Belichick, man. You, you know, that you, that you, it's like, if you beat them, then, you know, but anyway, I kind of knew it was going to happen. I ain't mad. Had the Lions going down too. Uh, I still had them going 11 and five, 12 and four, maybe they, they really, they could beat Chicago. They got Chicago. Listen, Chicago twice. Tampa Bay. So that's an expected win. Minnesota. Poor Minnesota. They just, they would have really did us a favor today, but um, they you just can't. They just can't buy a win. So they got Minnesota, Chicago twice, Tampa Bay. So you got at least honestly two of those wins. So you got nine wins at least, um, which is Tampa Bay and Minnesota. Chicago, honestly, they should beat them twice. And the Green Bay is on a roll. Now, the scary part is that that might, it might come down to the division and the playoffs, whoever wins that game. So now Green Bay is a half game ahead at eight and, um, eight and three. The, if the Lions can squeak away with the win against Green Bay, not only will we, if, if we wind up with a record that's tied, we'll go. So, 
the Green Bay game is is really probably the most important out the bunch. But um, I'm not even mad, man. Lions get demolished today. Um, so whatever, man. On to next week. Hopefully we can get the division lead back next week. I'll let y'all peace. Okay, so this is the Lions schedule for the 2014 season. Now, we're going to go to today's game. They played the New England Patriots in Foxborough, I think it was. But <clears throat> I want to say the Alliance, the Alliance, the Alliance, the Alliance went 11 and 5 this season. So we'll skip to the day today, which was the 23rd. I, I want to say it was today because that was my Facebook uh, notification. OK, it's not muted. Um, so the Lions beat the Giants in handy fashion Monday night. That was I remember it like it was yesterday. It was crazy. Um, it, it went different, completely different from this Monday night's game. They then lost to the Panthers, so they dropped to one and one. Now that's the Lions that we know, right? So then they go to Green Bay and surprisingly beat them at nine and seven. I'm sorry, nineteen to seven in Lambeau. I want to say that is when. Oh, it's at four field. Okay, never mind. Take that back. So they're two and one. Then the next week they beat the Jets. Okay. Uh, so they're three and one. Then they lose. I remember this like it was yesterday. So I don't know if you guys do too. But then they lose to the Bills on a field goal. So they're three and two. Now this is when it started to get good. So um this is when the Vikings were playing at TCF Stadium. I don't think they I don't do they still play there? I don't know. But the Lions get the win. So they go to four and two. Um then they beat the Saints on an epic. This is when they start coming from behind a lot. So they I remember this too, because uh Calvin was balling. So they beat the Saints. So they're five and two. Still not getting any respect from the media. Then they beat the Falcons, and they were 6-2. And, and I remember this because they had the bye right after that. So then they have the bye. They come at, at Ford Field and uh, beat the Dolphins. So they're 7-2. and two. Then here's when it started to get, get kind of sticky. They lost to the Cardinals. And, then the new, and this is from today. So this is the game that I was referring to on the video, that they got thrashed by the Patriots. So they're 7-4 and four at this point. And I want to say that... Uh, yeah, seven and four, and the Packers are eight and three. This is when we could just not, we could not, because I think they finished either 12 and four that year, I want to say. So we're at this point, seven and four, and um, we finally get off the two game losing streak against the Bears. This is when we had total domination. I mean, we hadn't lost to them until this year in what, like four years or something like that. So we beat the Bears, we go to eight and four. Then we beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We go to nine and four. Now the Lions steal no respect whatsoever. And they're nine and four December the 7th. They're 10 and four. They beat the Vikings. They're 11 and four uh, against the. They 10 and four. Then they beat Chicago. They're 11 and four. This game right here was for the division. The Lions, week 17. The Lions are 11 and four. And Green Bay is 12 and 3. And if the Lions get, no, wait a minute. Yeah, 12 and 3. The Lions get this victory. They win the division. They're at Lambeau Field and they lay an egg and they lose. We go from winning the division and being like the fourth seed or something like that to the sixth seed. So, um, and then we wind up losing to the Cowboys, as you can see up here by four after we should have really won that game. So what is the point that I'm showing you with this? Uh, because it's the same old Lions, same old Lions. Matthew Stafford was on his team. He was the quarterback of his team. Now, like I said before, I can't put it all on Matthew Stafford, but Matthew Stafford was the quarterback of this team and they finished 11 and five. Uh, honestly, if we look back at it, let's see. Uh, what game could have really gone either way? A lot of the wins could have gone to either way, but let me see. Uh, I don't know what the Cardinals, I kind of remember that game. And, and they lost to, and I want to say that this was the year that they they won 11 games, but they weren't beating anybody. 
Like they beat the Bears, but they the Bears weren't very good that year. I don't remember what their record was. They beat the Vikings. Uh, they split with the Packers, I think. But when the Lions needed to win, they didn't. They didn't win. And Matthew Stafford was the quarterback of that team. But it's funny because I've been getting alerts like almost every Sunday. And, you know, it's four years ago, so it's not the same dates. Or the, it's, No, it's not the same dates. But surprisingly, the day it actually was, we got thrashed by the Patriots. Um, and uh, I've been getting all these alerts. And I remember like it was yesterday about how the games, how they went. So this is an example right here. And I could go to the 2015 season. Uh, we probably do that. Maybe we'll do that another day. But um, this is how, this is why the Lions, we can't believe in them. They went 11-5 and five, but failed to win the division. They didn't show up for Green Bay. And uh, they needed to win when it mattered. And they win that game, they win the division. I remember it like it was yesterday. I'm going to keep saying that because even though it was four years ago, I remember it like it was yesterday. Oh, I got to go back too. There was a bump down here on my neck. I get them all the time down here. And it was a bump that I just could not stop playing with. And this was before, obviously, I knew the game of YouTube of actually looking at the audience and not at myself. But that's what that was. I just kept messing with it. So anyway, um, it's been a lot of talk in the, in the day since the game. And Matthew Stafford has been the whole talk. Of the entire, he's he's been everybody. What everybody's talking about, and after ten years, and a lot of people hit some valid points on the on the um. Gotta, let me just sit it on the Cowboys' loss on Matthew Stafford and how he's failed to produce in the ten years that he's been here. Now I give him the first three. First three, he was on and off. He was hurt. He was getting pounded. So let's just say the last seven, he's been unable to produce any uh, legitimate wins. I mean, really, no playoff wins in, 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 I'll give him seven years. No playoff wins in seven years. He had Megatron, Calvin Megatron Johnson, and still couldn't do anything. Now, we can go back to the Cowboys game where we know that they got cheated in Jerry World. I mean, it, it is what it is. But uh, the Lions had the lead in that game. They dominated the first half, and there's no reason, just like yesterday, there's no reason they should have lost. So anyway, guys, it is Derek P. Fields. Thank you so much for watching this video uh, and taking the time out of your day with me appreciate that and once again thank you for the love on the last video it's amazing that uh that many people want to see what i have to say when i'm upset so anyway guys thank you so much for watching and i will talk to you guys later derek is out peace stop drinking the kool-aid i'm out